In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Well, the good news is I am back and in a little better spirits. Uh, Lindsay liked what I did the other day, which is awesome. So now I'm gonna try to finish some other stuff up. She's coming back to join me. We're having a little issue. We've got an old CRV that my parents are letting us borrow for Instacart and um, she's not able to drive if it's broken and it's broken right now, but she thinks she can fix it. So I'm gonna go and get started on my projects. Little victories so far. I am done with the little box to protect the wires over on Lindsay's side of the bed. All that's left now is to trim. And before I trim the whole bedroom, what I'm trying to do is finish up every little step. So this is what we're looking at over here. I'm going to make a sliding shoe closet for myself. So that's going to go there. And then I'm just going to have this framed in with two by fours. And then I'll have a lid that sits on top. Nothing crazy. Hardest part's going to be securing these to the wall. So uh, there's not a whole lot of wall. I got to figure out if I can find a stud and uh, whatever stud is in an RV. And the same thing over here. And once I secure that and build the top, I'll we'll almost be done with this stinking bedroom. So looking at this spot in the bedroom where I'm going to be mounting the um, two by fours to build Everest little platform step slash bed. Um, I'm going to need to drill into the bed frame and with our camper and a lot of class C RVs, that's also where, um, where the water goes. So we definitely don't want to put a screw into the water holding tank. So what I need to do is the beds have these cool little flip up compartments and underneath that flip up compartment where you can store things is the actual tank. So I've got my mattress, which we had to put in early. We didn't plan on putting this in yet, but we had to sleep here over Christmas. We had family in town. And then, then we had got this mattress topper. I got to peel this out of the way and get underneath here to lift this up. And then there's a plywood cover right there. And underneath that, is our water tank and what I want to do is I want to make sure that the water tank is clear enough away that I can drive some screws in through the side over here as well as put some brads through this wood that we're going to be mounting on the front of the bed so it's going to take two hands to do that I'm going to go ahead and let the camera go so I can open this up hopefully and see if I can pull this off nothing ever goes as planned you hear that a lot. That's the truth that I speak. Nothing ever goes as planned. Always more work, always more steps, always more money, always more time. Here's the old water tank. It's a little guy. I wish it was about eight times as big. However, what I can see is that there is actually space between where I'm gonna put the block and the water tank down here. So I should be able to screw in. I should be able to throw some nails in down here, some brads, in between the tank and the wood. But I'm still going to put something down there to protect the water tank. And this did have a compression uh, strut here. I took it out because I couldn't get the board that covers it up out, and so. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and mount these two by fours to the wall and uh, 
That way I can put the cover on Everest's little dog bed slash step. I have finished Everest's little hangout. And now you can see what I'm talking about. It still has to be painted, so Lindsay gets to have that awesome job. However, I have finished the build out and I'm pretty excited. There were lots of little tweaks I had to figure out and measuring and remeasuring and cutting and recutting and all kinds of little tweaks. So like everything, it has taken way too long, but it's pretty stellar. I'm pretty excited. It doesn't support my weight, not supposed to, but it is gonna be a place where I can stash some shoes underneath the dog. And then again, if she'll sleep there, great. More room for me and Lindsay and I guess Huckleberry in the bed. But if she won't sleep there, then uh, at least it'll be the step that we want the dogs, we'll train them to take so that they're not uh, crushing their knees. Really simple-ish. Got a hinge, two hinges, and a handle. And that comes up. It doesn't come all the way up because of the bed, which is awesome. Um, but my shoes... Them sliding out in that plastic bin and then they go sliding back and the door shuts. We'll throw Ever's bed on top of here see how she likes it. Now I'm gonna go and I think I'm gonna cut more slats like these and I'm gonna put them on the front of the bed. They're gonna go like this. There's a design going up to the side of the bed. I wanted to trim the front where the bed is just to get an idea of what that's going to look like when it's all prettied up. Again, I lifted up the mattress so I could make sure I wasn't throwing any nails, any brads into our water tank, and I was not. So I've got confidence that when I go ahead and brad and nail gun these down into the wall, they're not going to go anywhere um, and do any damage. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bed back together and see if Lindsay notices. What do you think? Is Lindsay going to notice? I think she will. I think she will. So I went and got Lindsay. I couldn't wait for her to figure it out on her own. We'll see what she says. Uh, I might have done something. What did you do? I don't know. I'll give you a hint. It's not in this room. Take out the glass in the shower? No. Oh. Why would I start that big old project? I don't know. I thought maybe you were working on trim, but... Oh! That looks great! Okay. That's what you were thinking, right? Yeah. Cool. Looks good. I, don't, I did not think that that's what you were going to work on. I thought that was going to be my project. I had to get it done. I wanted to put the bed back together. That's done. I did some trim, but as our lovely viewers already know, trim made me use the F-bomb like 17 times. <laughs> so I stopped doing trim. But look at what I did trim. I trimmed the front piece. I wanted you to be able to see the whole bed. Mm -hmm. You can paint that now. Mm -hmm. and then on over here, this is all fantastic. Hey, what? Looking good. Bedroom's almost done. I can't believe it's taking so freaking long. It's almost done. This has been one long behind day. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So we're gonna go clean up, which is the least fun part of any job, and then call it a night. Yeah, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. What you make, shepherd's pie? Yeah, there's shepherd's pie left over. Cottage pie, shepherd pie. Yeah. You know the difference? It's like pecan, 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 pecan. No, because that's the shepherd's same pie. Thing. Cottage pie. Leave us a comment if you know the answer to that question. But don't Google it. You lose points if you Google it. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. We gotta put rubber on like, everywhere. Like, You're protect too my tall. Head. You're too tall. Can I do that surgery like in Gattaca where they like remove some inches from my leg? No. I'm just. I like you tall. 
But I'm gonna hit my look. I'm gonna hit I'm my sorry. head in this place. Yep. Good night. Good night.